Welcome to my channel, Zen Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be a love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising. And this is going to be your love reading for May 2021. So without further ado, my darlings, let's get into it. Guides, guardians, ancestors, angels, and ancient gods, please give me clear and concise messages for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, regarding their love life for May 2021. What does Cancer need to know at this time regarding their love life for May 2021? What love messages do you have for a cancer? Okay, let's see. We are starting off with the moon. Okay, so we have here things hidden in the shadows. This could be lies, fears, insecurity, vivid dreams, heightened intuition, some deception happening here. Okay, so I feel this is what you are wary of. So let me go to the love deck and see. What else does Cancer need to know regarding the moon for the month of May 2021? Also, the moon is very relevant to some of you. Um, I'm being told for those of you that are interested in like energy work, uh, spell work, uh, definitely pay attention to the moon phases. Do things within the right moon phase. The moon is, is like speaking to you and, and coming out to be very relevant to you at this time, which I'm going to actually pull this, this next, the Moonology deck for the moon. But let me see first, what's going on with Cancer's love life in May 2021? What's going on with Cancer's love life in May 2021? Okay, thank you. Okay, so we have here cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. So something may have happened or something may happen this month uh, where there's like some deception going on. So if you're in a relationship with someone or you're just starting to see someone and you feel like, hmm, I don't know, some things don't add up, you know, it just, things seem odd or weird, I feel you're going to be replaying the conversation or the situation over and over and over in your head because this something is off, okay? So I feel that's relevant for some of you. Now, if you've already, you know, had an issue with someone that you're in a relationship with, um, where maybe you've kept secrets or, you know, you were a little deceptive here, um, Again, playing events over and over in your head, trying to figure out, like, how could I have done that better? How can I have said that better? It could even be like a fight um, that you were maybe a little too honest, you know? Um, things that you kept to yourself, you finally let it out, and you were not very nice about it. And now you're replaying things over in your head like, shit, I shouldn't have said that, or I shouldn't have done that, you know, so on and so forth. And we have healthy choices, making healthy choices in life and in love, self-love, self-care, and being happier. So if you let someone go due to deception and lies and so on and so forth, and you're playing things over and over again in your head, like maybe I shouldn't have let them go, you know, maybe I should have given them another chance. Maybe they lied and, you know, you were spot on with your intuition you know, you may have even had dreams about what was going on here and you called them out and they just lied and deceived you. And now you're thinking like, well, what if they were telling the truth? What if, you know, it is in my head? Don't allow these people to gaslight you. This is a healthy choice for you. Okay, you're exercising your self-love and your self-care and it's going to help you be happier. And in turn, guess what? Twin flames, yin and yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other you will find your twin flame, somebody that is better for you. So don't beat yourself up here thinking like, oh yeah, I should, you know, stick with this piece of shit. No, if you feel in your gut that you're right and that's the right choice for you, don't let fear of being alone or this person gaslighting you get in the way of who is truly best for you. You know, you're, you're yin and yang, you're a person that's going to balance you out. Don't allow them to do that. Okay. Now, before I get to the Moonology deck, I'm going to go to my deck, Initial Traits and Features, 
and we're going to go and see who is your twin flame. Who is Cancer's twin flame? Who is Cancer's twin flame? I'm going to get the initials of your person or letters that will describe them or connect them by, with a place or thing. Okay, so keep in mind this is a general reading. If you'd like a private reading, please go to zenwithinme.com. Okay, so quad is spelled out here. So quad, okay. However, quad resonates with you. I got quad coming through. Okay, it could also just be initials. Um, uh, I'm seeing aqua, someone might be an Aquarius. Q, U, D, A, and then we have the letter O and Z. So it's so something with Oz. And then I'm seeing doze. Someone may doze off a lot. Maybe you had somebody here that would like sleep a lot. They're dozing off. Maybe they work really hard. They're always tired. Okay. So Q-U-D-A-O-Z, -D. these can be initials, not all of them for one person, of course, A-D, for example, um, might be what resonates for you as somebody, like, um, uh, I don't know, I'm just going to make up a name, I got Anna Domingo, okay, um, also Aries is coming through, someone might be an Aries, and I'm getting, um, oh, October is coming through. And December and then I said aqua so Aquarius is also coming through also got Detroit and then add somebody might be in advertising in some way okay so you see how the letters come into play to describe your person by connecting them with like you know uh, their job it could be even like a street maybe it's like Oz Avenue you know where they live or work or something like that okay so that's just to give you an idea with the letters and initials of um, who it is that you're dealing with okay the soulmate that's coming into your life okay let's actually let's get some traits and features of them too what are the traits and features of this twin flame for cancer what are the traits and features of cancer's twin flame what are the traits and features of Cancer's Twin Flame? You can order a reading from ZenWithinMe.com just to find out more info and details on your soulmate as well. Okay, let's see. What are the traits and features of Cancer's Twin Flame? Okay, independent. Trustworthy. Wealthy. Ooh la la. Okay, fashionable. Okay, something about their nose. So they can have like a good sense of smell, small nose, big nose. They might be nosy, ask a lot of questions. Okay. And then something about their voice. So it could be the tone of their voice. They may have an accent or there might just be a lot of communication, like vocal communication between the two of you. Okay. All right, now going to the Moonology deck for the moon. Okay, what does Cancer need to know regarding the moon? For those of you that are interested in the moon, and the moon is very relevant to you, what does Cancer need to know regarding the moon? What messages do you have for Cancer regarding the moon? Thank you. All right, so we have here a time for healing, balsamic moon. So that definitely makes sense with what's going on here. So I'm going to put this up here. It's a time to heal with everything that you had going on here in this relationship okay now it's time to heal so you can get to your twin flame work through your fears new moon in scorpio okay so even though this says it's for may it is still a timeless reading the messages will find you when you need them so look to see when new moon in scorpio is your person may be a scorpio this could be scorpio season it may just be the next moon a new moon phase as well and the messages simply work through your fears okay and then we have don't let your past hold you back. So don't let a previous relationship that 
you know, maybe broke your trust and has, has you um, on the defensive, don't let that hold you back from having a new relationship because you might be screwing up a relationship with your soulmate or your twin flame, okay? All right, so let's see. What other messages do we have for Cancer regarding their love life for May 2021? What else does Cancer need to know regarding their love life for May 2021? All right, thank you. Okay, this one's very, very clear here. Accept heaven's help. You've prayed for help, so get out of the way and let heaven help you. Okay, then we have positive energy. Surround yourself with positive people and situations and avoid negativity. And then we have have faith. Your prayers are manifesting. Remain positive and follow your guidance. Let's see what other messages do we have for cancer sun moon rising regarding their love life okay all right we have learning music that that just came through with those two that flipped so some of you maybe you always wanted to learn how to play an instrument or read music or any aspect of music that you wanted to learn something about Distract yourself with something positive. Learn the music that you finally wanted to learn, okay? For those of you that you didn't want to learn music, just learning in general here could be that, you know, you have information that came through that you just learned about that is going to help you move forward. Music, focus on music, listen to mantras, um, just songs in general, anything that's going to help to uh, put you more at peace and to heal, okay? And then we have fertility here. So with fertility, I'm feeling this is more like the birth of a new you, okay? Once you heal, you're going to come out of your shell and it's, it's going to be a new you, okay? And that's very, very, very positive. Okay, so let's see. What other messages do we have for cancer regarding their love life for May 2021? Yeah, beautiful. You are on the right path. You're going in a better direction. There's changes ahead. Okay. All right. So those are your messages, Cancer. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, watching, and subscribing. If you'd like daily content, follow me on TikTok. If you would like to purchase these Oracle cards, you could go to zenwithinme.com or my Etsy shop, Zen Within Me. Those links are down below in the description box. If you want to purchase a private reading or spell work, you can go to zenwithinme.com. If you want to purchase any products or merch, Samwithinme.com or Etsy shop, Sam Within Me. Everything is down below in the description box. Peace and love, guys. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next reading.